Greetings, everyone, to uh, another edition of Sly and JB Review Movies, <laughs> Mo- Motion Pictures. This time we're coming, right. you from the, uh, coming to you from the great outdoors. That's right, that's right. Yeah, because, of course, it wasn't warm enough inside to come out here, so we could, we could sweat our thoughts out. Well, luckily, cool down just enough. It's probably going to rain as we're doing this. Yeah. But hopefully you can sneak this review in as it's, as it's cooling down. You can feel that, you know, that, that little feeling right before it rains. Mm-hmm. It's Real nice and cool and down just a little bit. So <laughs> I'd love see. to test the slow motion on the video camera. Maybe we can get the individual drops <laughs> as they come down. So here, here's a game for at home. Over under the first raindrop. Yes, that's good. <laughs> that, that's goes your, that goes your, yeah, mm-hmm. goes your game for, for watching at home. So I guess some important information is what we're going to be reviewing. Would okay. you like to tell everyone what we're reviewing? We're going to be reviewing the uh, Wonder Woman film. Hopefully you've all gone out and see it, seen it. Uh, spoilers. I thought it was great. I thought it was, it was uh, not perfect, but it was a great mm-hmm. film. I thought it was what uh, I will be scared of going here. You thought about that? <laughs> uh, He's just interested in what you're saying. He, know, he yeah. doesn't need your blood. He, he wants to be. He wants to listen. Maybe he wants to yeah. chime in. I thought it was generally great, um, mm-hmm. considering what um, considering what the DC universe, uh, DC extended universe, had been attempting. I thought they really were short of where they should have been. Attempting is a good, a good way to put it. Right, well. <laughs> right. Well, if, if you think about, if you think about, it's it's hard to, it's hard to compare one to the other because they're fundamentally different um, universes in terms mm-hmm. of Marvel versus DC. Yeah. They are different, and they shouldn't be the same. They should be, they should be different. They should feel different. But a problem I thought they've had is where Marvel uh, kind of came out the gate with a couple of good to great movies to really entice the uh, set up the idea of here goes your here goes your massive crossover film with the yeah. Avengers yeah. Um, get ready for MCU <laughs> I remember I actually remember seeing uh, Thor with some people uh, from my old job mm-hmm. who didn't know that the Avengers was coming yeah and I, I remember saying well won't it be cool when this character meets that character in the Avengers film? And they were they were surprised. Like, Whoa! There, there's going to be a crossover. <laughs> They're going to do that. So yeah, that's that's why this character was here. That's why that character's there. It's all it's all going to come together in, in the finale, or not? I guess not. It's going to it's all pointing towards something. They're yeah. really excited about that. Mm-hmm. Versus, I think at the end of Man of no, Man of, end, end of Batman vs Superman, the idea that all these characters would come to get come together. Most of which haven't even been seen on screen yeah. outside of like you know those, those, little, those little flashes. It kind of left everything short. I don't think people were really excited or even knew that what was really being set up was mm-hmm. a Justice League film. Yeah, this is the first movie I legitimately think excites me for a Justice League movie, yeah. which goes to show you the quality of the film. It's not just good in its own right. It was good enough to make me want to see more of the characters I was done seeing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and maybe I'm not even excited for that. Maybe I'm just excited for more Wonder, Wonder Woman kicking right? ass. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and how awesome is it that the movie that manages to do that is an IP that's hardly been touched on a big screen. And strangely not been touched. Yeah. I I think when you, when you go back you know, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, when you go back and you'll say, what was kind of a, a surprise hit or, or what was a what kind of sticks out? I think your your eye will be drawn to Wonder Woman, not because it's not a popular character or not a popular franchise. Mm-hmm. For whatever reason, studios have not chosen to pick up Wonder Woman for video games, for for television shows. Mm-hmm. Yes, she had a, a wonderful show in the seventies that was hugely popular. Oh, yeah. But if you really think about it, all the success that Wonder Woman, this Wonder Woman film has had, has been with minimal advertising. Which they, for whatever reason, they didn't advertise this as hard as Batman vs Superman or yeah. Man of Steel, Very which true. was super well advertised, mm-hmm. and it's coming on the tail end of controversial to bad films, yes, which extremely. I think hurt the film's drawing potential. Yeah, if for you, sure. If you'd come out the gates instead of in 2012 doing Man of Steel, you'd done this. Man of Steel would have done considerably better. Because you would have been excited about what was coming. You've drawn, you've drawn the audience into it already. Exactly. Yeah. On the tail end of of Batman vs Superman, which is a, I mean, another hysterical. It, it's it's right next to Alien Covenant for me as far as 
wow, what a what a joy to to watch a, a, a cinematic turn like that. Yeah. But Wonder Woman's success has to she has to overrun the deficit that those two movies were in. Yeah, they place it's, it at at the outset. They place it at that deficit. Yeah. I think about think about a movie like Ant Man, which was a surprise hit and maybe shouldn't have been, mm-hmm. but because they had nailed Avengers because they had had a good a good Iron Man film because they had had a good Thor film all these various films and you might not like, love all those films but mm-hmm. every one of those was a hit and well regarded so they were able to try something risky with Ant Man mm-hmm. and I haven't even talked about Suicide Squad oh yeah which I think I, I mean I, for, I forgot about it, yeah honest. oh yeah it's yeah. just kind of faded into oblivion at this point <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's I think. Um, I think that I was really I was really looking forward to a movie like that because of what they have done include if you include uh, Suicide Squad in the yeah. discussion what DC has done um, just like how much they've lagged behind Marvel right. and actually setting up a meaningful universe that right. you cared about seeing these people team up yeah 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 <laughs> um, yeah so what uh, what for you stood out as positive we'll start positive okay. or continue we won't start we'll continue positive number one I really cared about Wonder Woman. I guess they never even call her Wonder Woman. She's Diana. Diana, yeah. I really cared about and understood what this character's motivations were. Mm -hmm. And I was down with it. Yeah. I didn't have that moment, and I'm talking about all these other films, Mm -hmm. I feel like maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyways. (laughs) I think about the motivation of Batman and Batman v Superman. Yeah, <laughs> who's at not not even the drop of a hat, but with a he's way too e- easily into my solution is I'm going to murder this stranger uh, until he says somebody's name that Jesus. resonates with me, and then all of a sudden I'll just back off. And, and like Wonder Woman in this film, like her mission is not different than that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to kill this dude to save the world, but she's right. Yeah. Like if she is, a, she's literally on the planet. To do this, yes, for so, humanity's sake, not right. her own, for humanity. Right, like it, no, she's not doing this for like that. I will rule the world, or that I will be right. She, they accomplish this goal of making her motivations um, altruistic uh, in a way that's appropriate for a superhero hero film. Um, so I really enjoyed cheering for this character. I really enjoyed the fact this character had a. A moral compass that was not offensive to me as a viewer. Mm-hmm. It made sense to me. Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed Gal Gadot's performance. Yeah, she was phenomenal. She was Absolutely great. Phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and uh, while I'm talking about performances, I thought everybody in the movie was good. For sure, I think every single role was acted extremely well. Yeah, extremely well. Yeah, yeah. I and <laughs> it's funny. I was thinking about uh, about the lead character. I thought. Whoever whoever was in charge of wardrobe or makeup, I don't whatever the case was, they did a phenomenal job of making a supermodel look like she could whoop anybody. <laughs> but okay, I believed it. It wasn't. I, I mean, I believed that yeah. this woman who I, I remember thinking when they showed you know like the present day, yeah, uh, well, they showed her dressed up. And she got that uh, that photograph from Bruce Wayne. Yeah, and uh, in that shot. I, re- I remember thinking, you know, I'm not a, a big guy, but I swear to God, her waist is as big as my thigh. Sure. And I was thinking, how are they going to convince me that this woman can yeah. can defeat the god of yeah. war? And they did it. I 100% believe it. You, you know what? When they announced Gal Gadot as being Wonder Woman, um, I had a, I was I liked Gal Gadot because I'd seen her in the Fast and Furious yeah. series, mm-hmm. uh, but she's such so, such a uh, she's such a thin frame. Yeah. I wondered yep. how they were going to be able to show her I thought the same in thing. a convincing manner. I knew she was training hard, and I knew, and I knew she was going to probably put on some muscle mass for it. Yeah. And she's not like rippling with muscle. She's mm-hmm. she's not out there like like you could have you could have gone like pure physical and been like get me Serena Williams. Yeah. Who get believe- Ronda Rousey, right. Serena Williams. Yeah. Yeah. Who <laughs> believably would have kicked the crap out of anybody. Like yeah. you wouldn't have flinched. Mm-hmm. But like. There's a scene where she like sh- shoulder tackles uh, like a, an armored vehicle, mm-hmm. and like first off, the, the, that scene is great. But yeah. she hits that thing full force, and like I don't, 
she might weigh 125 pounds, but I don't blink. I, I bought it because of how they portrayed how they portrayed the action, which is another another thing I I didn't love it, but I really enjoyed how the action was, sh was shot because I can't point to another superhero film or action film and said that looked like that. It very much was unique. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I um, I think like for me, the big positives, as, as you said, the acting. I think there wasn't really a there was nobody that wasn't pulling their weight. Definitely. To, to use a lot of negatives in that, in that <laughs> sentence. Uh, everyone, and, and to put it more positively, everyone was pulling their own. Right, right, right. Um, you know, every actor was doing a great job. I thought, uh, I thought the live action mm -hmm. fight scenes were really well done. Okay. I thought they were really well done. Um, and yeah, most of, when, when we start going, if we go into any negatives, I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll say my piece on uh, on some of the CG. But uh, most of the, um, you know, the blending from live action to you know, okay. like mowing down tanks with a shoulder. Yeah, you know, was done very well. Right. There were just there were times where like the final fight. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. If if you, if we want to if you want to transition that, just go ahead and. Well, uh, well, well let's 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 kind of note that because I okay. think I might have a couple more positives. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. That supporting cast mm -hmm. was great, and and I'm I'm talking specifically about her like posse. Mm hmm. I love those guys. Yeah. And if there's one negative, my main negative is we're not going to see those guys in Wonder Woman 2. Yeah, for sure. Especially, um, as one thing I wanted to remember to say, did you see, I think it was the actual actor who played the character, the chief character, mm -hmm. that he, I, if I read correctly, he confirmed that his character is supposed to be a demigod in this universe. Whoa, uh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of funny considering the movie. The only thing he really does is steal a car, and uh, I think very stereotypically light a uh, signal. Right, fire, right. <laughs> I was like, of course, the Native American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was all about. He was kind of their mystical leader <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I think because uh, I think fans were pointing out that in the movie, when they when he and Diana first meet, yeah, he says something to her in a foreign language, and she knows it. And it's not subtitled. It's like the only time in the movie that somebody speaks not English. Okay. And it's not subtitled. And somebody picked out the word. They heard that he said the word Napi, which apparently is a, a mythological uh, huh. like crea creation story. I mean, he's from a from a Native American creation story. Like, he's like the first man. Like, one of the, cre the creator of the world, but not a benevolent creator. Like, a mischievous trickster. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's... And, and I think they that he confirmed that that is that is accurate. Whoa! And you hear you can hear him if you watch it again. Him introduce. I mean, you can hear him say Nappy. Yeah. And she understands him and is like, "Well, hi, I'm Diana." And shakes his hand. It's like the only person that she showed that kind of respect to, shaking his hand. Interesting. After learning that, I felt even more so. Man, what a bummer! I'm not going to get to see more of that fleshed out. I'd love to would have seen love to see. And that's okay. I'm going to jump in here. The world they set up, as far as like the lore of the Amazons and this island, and they they kind of do this almost video game like cutscene of like here's the bat, here's the last five thousand years of history, <laughs> and like it's not that it's done poorly, just like I wanted to I wanted to stop to whoa, whoa, let's see all this. Can we yeah. can we get some of this? And Would love to. If I can if I can if I can draw a criticism of the DC television universe. Of which I just started watching Arrow, and I'm liking it actually. Mm -hmm. uh, there's all this focus in the DC universe about like, let's go back to the beginning before all this stuff happened. Yeah. Like the Gotham series doesn't have Batman. It's like, but let's set up the Batman universe. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see that. I want to see Batman. Yeah. I want to see this like old school. What happened in 3000 BC with the Amazons? Like, I'd like to see that fleshed out. Yeah. You know, they're talking about doing a Krypton series. On Krypton, mm -hmm. I I don't care. I, I don't. I can't care. Yeah. Show me what's happening with this with these people in these ancient wars and these ancient political battles and we have the gods in the background. Like that was interesting to me, and, and setting up what was going on would be interesting. Yeah. Um, so I, I I'm piggybacking off you. On yes. That. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, any other positives? I mean, I I, I had a bunch more, but. Maybe I won't, I won't bring them up till later. 
Yeah, I mean, I think I, I think you touched on we, we touched on what what stood out the most to me. I mean, just obviously in general, we okay. like the movies. So yeah, there's a lot of little stuff. But. Let me let me say one more positive, mm -hmm. and it's it's the moment where the movie came together for me. Mm -hmm. When they're in no man's land, they're in the trenches. Uh, they're in the trenches, and they're talking about how this the the, the German forces are occupying this town. There's mm -hmm. awful stuff going down, yep. and. If the, there's a there's a lady that asks Diana for help, and she's pleading with everyone, please help them, help them. And you have Steve Trevor is kind of like the representative of all that's good in mankind, so yeah. kind of matter of factly saying, look, it's not that we don't want to, it's that we can't. Yes. And to someone who's like Diana, she doesn't really understand that, <laughs> and she basically can't, can't nonsense. Yeah, she yes. she basically says, no, we're I'm going to commit to this. We're going to do this. Yeah and breaks the line, mm -hmm. and in this rejection of, of of kind of the criticisms, or not the criticism, the rejections of the negative aspects of the DC universe, here goes, she throws off this cloak, jumps out, and starts walking through no man's land, and it's this colorless world, mm -hmm. uh, there's all this pain and suffering, and she's like, F this, look at me in full colorful armor, I'm running, Face first into this, and we're doing this. Uh -huh. And to me, that was—I think it's symbolic of what the movie is to this to the, to the universe. We're doing this differently. We're going to we're going to do things that represent uh, what you guys know the character to be, what the world to be. There's going to be things like color. There's going to be things like heroism, and yeah. there's not going to be conflict in the heroism. Mm -hmm. The conflict will come from the struggle with with the antagonist. The, perhaps even the internal struggle of maybe I can do more. Mm -hmm. uh, to see that character do that, and the, I think that's the best scene of the film, like that extended battle sequence um, that culminates with her spiking, <laughs> culminates with her spiking that church. <laughs> which that was awesome. incredible. I mean, that, yeah, that was humanoid artillery. Right, that that's exactly <laughs> what it was. Oh my God. Uh, uh, it, yeah, that was, that scene, I don't, I don't know that you could be a human being and see that scene when it started yeah. when she jumped out of that trench and not just instinctively smile. Like, yeah. you couldn't not smile. You yeah. were just like, oh my God, this is incredible. Well, I, I think about that and the, there, there, isn't the, there isn't the same scene in Man of Steel. Yeah. Like, there's never that moment where everyone's like, Superman, you can't do it. And he's like, I am going to save all these people. Yeah, yeah. He's too busy, like, throwing people in buildings. Right? Of course, yeah, or, leveling or, entire cities. Or just not caring when people are being killed in front of him. Mm -hmm. There's no scene in Batman vs. Superman where, like, Batman's faced with, like, you can't save everyone. And he's like, I'll die trying, damn it. Yeah, that Which, internal struggle's not, not there. <laughs> it's not really there. That scene is kind of there in, in Suicide Squad in one of the odd... 50-50 moments where uh, Will Smith's character I can't remember exactly what he says but he's like my daughter, I might die but she's going to know that I wasn't a piece of garbage yeah. I will I will try mm -hmm. and it, it's, it's, it's the moment where I think that movie kind of really shines like these weird, oddly placed character moments where okay, I can get behind these guys mm -hmm. but this, this movie doesn't struggle with that it's like She's going as soon as she gets the opportunity to. I'm going in. Yeah, yeah. Well, she. I mean, we're talking about a character that uh, basically forsake eternal paradise to save humanity. That's right. On her own. That's right. I might add. That's right. <laughs> her, I also like own. the symbolism of no man's land and a woman going in. I was waiting uh, for yes. her. I was waiting for her to like see the sign and be like, "Well, no man, slash it to bits and be yeah. like, how about this, <laughs> and do it, and uh, like." There's opera I'm sure I'm sure with a feminist eye you can watch the film and dissect it on a thousand different levels and I, yeah. I think that's great. But I don't think you have to be watching for that to enjoy it. And I don't think you I don't think you need need like that eye to enjoy it. Although I'm sure again it's it's another one of those movies where I think I think one of the lessons you can take is a woman supported it can can accomplish anything. Yeah. Um, yep. which I think is a pretty sweet lesson. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you could take a, an alternative take on it, and like if people hadn't gotten her away, she could have done more. And I think there's a thousand different ways to take it, but I don't even think you need to go there. It's 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 a, it's a great movie without that. I will add another another positive that I've forgotten to mention. 
the theme music. Her yeah. music. I mean, it's not the first time we've heard it. We yeah. heard it in Batman or Superman. That music that plays when she enters, enters battle mode. <laughs> I swear to God, that tune could make anything incredible. Sure. She could be sipping a, a cup of tea, and it would be badass. It becomes that good. music playing yeah. in the background. It is incredible. You know, I'll give you something that I'm looking forward to going forward, something I'm, I'll, I'll be happy to leave behind. Mm-hmm. There is a little bit of that fish out or water kind of stuff. Like, I'm, I'm seeing the world for the first time. Yes. It, was, it was cute and fun. I'm not talking bad about it. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to her next time we're, we're going to see her. She's going to have knowledge of the world yep. and like be a member of society or mm-hmm. knowledge of society. I'm looking forward to that where she's going to be like more active and less reactive in certain ways. In certain ways. I'm I looking agree. forward to that. Yeah, and I, that was that was also something adding to my. Though I am though I am a man, <laughs> the, my, the, because I was watching it through a little bit of a feminist lens. I would, some of that started to wear thin on me. Okay. But then I look back and I, I realize I was being a little too critical because at first it just, it came off like, really, we're portraying this this woman the same way women have been portrayed so many times, like ditzy, stu- you know, silly. Even like, I will say, if, it, if there is something of it to criticize, the kind of cliche, all the world needs is love kind of thing. I, it bothered me at the time. I looked back at it and realized, it was only because she'd never seen this stuff before. Sure. I mean, it, I think it only rubbed me the wrong way because it was a woman that kind of exposed my biases. You know, I actually, I, I, I think, I, I see what you're saying, and I, I think one of the reasons I really enjoyed the film was uh, the kind of ongoing theme of the human race is mm-hmm. the tendency to show a complete lack of compassion. <laughs> and like, yeah. like strangely inhuman levels of, of lack of compassion. Mm-hmm. I think we need messages like like this. To... How, how do you feel about me doing what I do best and, and saying something negative? We, well, let's go to negative. Let's go, go to that. Let's go to negative. So, you touched on one of the reasons I was so hyped for this movie. Um, you know me for a while, and I think you know I play plenty of plenty of video games. And when given the opportunity, I always choose to play as a, as a female character. You do. You do. I so. Going along those lines, I was super excited to finally see one of these movies where we're showca- showcasing a female superhero, yeah. front and center. Um, so that being at the forefront of my mind, there were some aspects of the portrayal of that character that just irked me while I was okay. watching it. Um, Can you give me an example? So uh, o- the overarching reason, I think, is... I can put it in the form of a question. Why does a woman, and this isn't even a woman, mind, mind us, this is a goddess, as they continue telling us. I why think it's does, better said than she's a weapon. Yeah, why does this person, this being, Spoiler. female, what, how about, let's put it that way, this female, why, why does a female need a man all the time? That was, see, I really liked that interaction between her and Steve, right, on mm-hmm. the boat. When uh, when she's she's telling him that our scholars our scholars came to the uh, the conclusion that while you guys are necessary for reproduction you are by no means necessary for pleasure and I was like keep that hold on to this because I like that that idea. moment that look on Steve Trevor's face yeah I think every guy should like recognize that and be like oh, like, oh man I've been there this is true oh, oh god, god. <laughs> yeah so I was I was kind of looking forward to a film the yeah. first real great super woman <laughs> film we've yeah. gotten yeah, yeah, yeah. staying true to that sure. and making it so that she was going to fight alongside these people but she didn't need them sexually you know there didn't need to be that kind of relationship like it says reporting Back in. Okay. Well, we so, can we can splice this together. Yeah, I, yes. I think Man, you're you're making the point a little technical difficulty. Yeah. You were making the point uh, of uh, why does this woman need need a man? Exactly. And yes. Kind I, of the, maybe the the theme they might have addressed, but maybe lost. Yeah. Because I, I think what I was what I was getting at was uh, in the, the movies stories with the uh, with male superheroes. It's it's always been it seemed that they've needed that romantic partner to invest them in humanity you know what i mean it's like they didn't it's almost like they didn't really care about humanity until they fell in love you know what i mean (laughs) and and that really bound them to the human race okay um 
for me, I didn't understand why we needed to go that route with this character. She didn't need Steve romantically no. to, to prove to me that she gave enough of a crap about human, humanity to put it all on the line. Yeah. She had, as we said earlier, she left Eternal Paradise by herself right. for humanity's sake. And I, I, that scene... So didn't, didn't, wasn't that point already achieved? Yes, that is what I thought. Okay. And, and I, that's why that scene where they, they get together... You know, when, when uh, she gives, I had this thought, I almost said it out loud, when she gave this little, the yeah. sexy eyes look. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh no, please, please don't tell me this is what's going to happen now. Okay. And he, and it was just so strange because he almost like begrudgingly closes the door like, oh, okay, I guess oh. we're going to have to get it on. Fortunately, the scene was really short. But I was, the whole time I was thinking, why do we need this? Okay. This man is so beneath her. I just I felt like it was really oddly placed in a film where it seemed to me we'd made a point of showing this woman didn't need a man. Sure. They are of no use to her. Sure. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really forced. It was forced to, to play that same old story that we've done in all the male superhero mm. stories. They where they, they need this connection, this bond sure. to you know, to care about humankind. It just felt unnecessary. I've got a I've got a I've got a I've got to push back in, in, a, in some ways. I don't think I necessarily disagree with you, but I think I have to make a couple of, at least ask a couple of questions. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think the character needed anything. I think yeah. it's, I think she, she chose to, to do the path she chose. She, I think she chose to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think she was excited by the idea of, of Steve Trevor to start with, but yeah. I don't think at any point the, the character I think the, I think Steve Trevor wasn't worthy of of coupling with you know this this yeah. incredible woman, right? But mm -hmm. I think Steve Trevor availed himself of uh, of being like a an incredibly decent person, yeah, uh, and and ultimately taught her things that just by lack of her experience, not her virtue, mm -hmm. um, that that was able to uh, uh, interest her, gain her interest, mm -hmm. and I also have to make the point. Here you go, two two asshole guys talking about uh, the, a very complex uh, issue befitting a, a very uh, what I think is going to be a very important story in female uh, in female uh, uh, just just the women period. Yeah. And the only woman present is operating the camera. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the person most probably best suited to actually discuss these. Issues. So, uh, with, with that noted, uh, I think this is going to sound weird. You never see any any part of what happens between the two of them. It's true. They cut away. I'm gl glad that they cut away from that for sure. So, I, I actually when I, I I didn't see it with you and mm -hmm. uh, the people I, I saw it with, I actually asked the question, "Do you think they had sex?" Mm -hmm. And initially, everyone said yes, and they thought about it. So I, I don't know, and I I also don't know. That's uh, true. And it, it certainly is not explicit in multiple. Definitions of the word. Yeah, <laughs> and if you're, if you've ever been, if you ever had the opportunity to be around someone you have like legitimate affection for, mm -hmm. sometimes all you want is to just spend the night with them, just like the whole thing throughout the night. Yeah, okay. And especially someone who's, you could you could you could sell it to me that like they had sex until six a.m. the next morning, <laughs> yeah. or you could you could sell it to me that they just like held each other and fell asleep. And yeah, that's true. You could sell me on either version or something in between. Mm -hmm. um, and if I can, oh yeah. If I can, if I can further push back, who's to say this woman couldn't do what she wanted? Oh yeah, she, for sure. For this sure. dude, it's Steve Trevor's. He's freaking fine, man. Like the dude is gorgeous. Yeah. Let her have her fun. That's true. That's and, true. And she if just... you if you seen the, there's a there's an interview that they gave after the uh, after filming, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Obviously, they're not in character, and Chris Pine is talking, mm -hmm. and Gal Gadot is looking over at him, and kind of bites her lip like she's like, I mean, we all know that look. Right? <laughs> and she right. gives him this look, and and she quickly turns away because I think she realized, oh my god, I'm on camera. <laughs> but uh, like, and I understand. Oh, there goes her first raindrop. So yeah. the, whoever's whoever's got the timer, yeah, mark take, the time. You take the if you took the under, take your drink. Uh -huh. uh, Who's to say that she couldn't? She couldn't do that. Like, true. She liked him. 
he was a decent dude. Mm -hmm. uh, as he says, I'm I'm not an average guy. I'm an above average guy. So that's true. He did, he did yeah, say that. So who's uh, to say she can? And, yeah. Oh, for sure. And again, I get it. My my lesson were in were any was anything that Steve Trevor provided her, other than perhaps the last thing he says to her, mm -hmm. or any of the men who were in the film. Did any of them do anything that she would not have been able to accomplish without herself, by you know, uh, without their help by herself? Nah, certainly not. So I don't think. I think the way the movie was told, the way it was, sh the way it was shown, mm -hmm. none of them were integral. True. Yeah, she would have done. She would have accomplished all of this in her own time. True. Uh, perhaps she was assisted by. She was impeded by it. But realistically, she did all of this by herself. Yeah, most certainly did. And she, anything she did, she kind of did it on her own terms. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. I, yeah, I mean, I. It's hard for me to ver. It, like while I was watching, it was hard for me to verbalize why it. It kind of bothered. I mean, it's not like I thought it, it ruined the movie or it was like a bad thing. It was. I just, was worried about it too. Yeah. And, like when when they closed the door, I said. This kind of came out of nowhere. Exactly. See, that's probably oh. why it stuck out to me is because I was thinking... Well, I, oh, I guess I wasn't thinking. I was shocked because I didn't see that coming. Right. And no point they really primed me to think that these two were going to get romantic. Right. You know? And it, so it wasn't that it was bad. It just was strange to me. I, I was kind of looking forward to a story where a woman didn't need a man for once. You know, where, that's, where that character was... But shall we say her own woman? <laughs> yeah, know? but but I can see what you're saying. It yeah. did serve it did serve a purpose. Sure. Um, the other the other thing I, I was trying to remember to mention was the the CG. Okay. There were times when the CG kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Okay. Um, and the best way I can describe it is it. It, I guess in a more recent example, kind of reminded me of some bits of Batman vs Superman. Okay. Where Batman starts. Behaving and doing things that he clearly couldn't physically do. Boy, when he's crawling on those walls, the walls and stuff. that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. And, it, and th I think that Ares fight really kind of summed it up for me. Where I, when I was watching that, I felt like I was watching the much maligned Matrix Revolution movie. Oh, <laughs> where, oh I'm wow. watching, where I'm watching <laughs> Neo, Neo fight Agent Smith and like Dragon Ball Z style, like where they're just. Yeah, it's but complete with lightning, even but, lightning strikes. But it's not just their fighting D Dragon Ball Z style. They look like they're they're cutscenes from a video game. It's exactly what I said after the movie. It, I, it doesn't look like dudes fighting. I looks, felt yeah. like I, I felt like okay. it they did a poor job. Whatever studio they used for the the computer generated stuff, I thought they did a poor job in places like that of effectively transitioning from live action to CG. Yeah, it made it look like. A video game cutscene, which yeah. draws me out. It pulls me out of the scene because I, having played a lot of video games, I can just tell it's fake. Right. You know what I mean? And well, uh, I think that was the only scene. I, I never, I never really knew the stakes because all of a sudden they're wielding these cosmic forces, throwing around yeah. lightning yeah. bolts, right, right. fireballs everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And I just didn't quite know like. Is any of this dangerous to them? Like, are, they, <laughs> right. are we are, like getting a scratch from this at all? Well, like, I didn't see much blood. <laughs> that was that was part of the problem I had with the end of Man of Steel. Yeah. You have these two demigods fighting, mm -hmm. and these people aren't. Their hair isn't messed up. Yeah. Nobody's nose is broken from a punch. Mm -hmm. And and I not to say that I wanted to see these characters disfigured, but <laughs> I, I, I just didn't quite know. And I think some of it came from that the kind of what, what the computer graphics looked like. Is anybody winning this fight? Is anyone losing this fight? And I, and I guess the are, way, they <laughs> like, are, are they winded? Like, are they even winded? And, and I guess like we're we're kind of shown <laughs> we're shown that Diana is definitely not winning the fight. Yeah. But it's through like I guess the acting and kind of the direction, not the not the visuals that are occurring. On yes. Screen. Very true. Uh, I don't really have that many on by way of negatives. Like, <laughs> leave it. Leave it to me to cover <laughs> all of them. <laughs> like I was I was down with the film. I thought it was yeah. I thought it was pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of wanted. I wanted more. I, yeah. I wish it wasn't. I wish it wasn't a World War One story. I wish those characters were coming back. I, I know. Yeah. Like the even that she wasn't even part of their posse, but the Steve Trevor's secretary. Like I, mm -hmm. I want to see that character again. Yeah. Like, I, I want. And if they could figure out some way to, to bring them, bring them back, I, I'd, I'd be down for it. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as a negative, maybe 
uh, I didn't quite understand that like I thought these Amazons in general were superhuman. Mm -hmm. So when the when when they were involved in the fights, I thought they should have been. They kicked a lot of ass. I, see what, I yeah. thought they should have been kicking maybe a little more ass. Like they took yeah. some losses. Mm -hmm. I didn't quite get that, or maybe I didn't understand the rules properly. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I thought the same thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and <laughs> tongue in cheek negative, uh, so to speak, is uh, I thought it was kind of funny at the end. That uh, not not the very very end, but yeah. when when Steve and they played his conversation twice, once where you can't hear him, and yeah. again when you can hear him, when when he's telling her what he's got to do, right? I kind of chuckled watching it because I could almost hear like an old fifties movie going like, "Hey babe, hey doll, <laughs> I got something I got to do. Yeah, you know, only I can do it and save the day. Yeah, but you could save the world, sweetheart. Yeah, you know, and then he." He runs to the to the plane, and I was just like, even in a movie about a woman, about a woman, the man still has to one up her in the end. Like he still has to go be the martyr. He still has to be the martyr. <laughs> uh, I guess. I mean, I'm not I'm not criticizing. I just thought it was kind of funny because, like, you know, to take Captain America, for sure. instance. And I thought this movie had a lot in common with the first. Captain this was America their movie. This was their Captain America. The first Captain America. This was their movie. Captain America. You know, a little corny, kind of goofy humor. Yeah. You know, this this incorruptible, just freaking saint. Yeah, the, as the, the best dude on the world. Yeah. So, yeah. It, and so I thought it was funny, like comparing with with Captain America, you know, the man gets to be the martyr in that movie. Yeah. Rogers dive bombs that plane Damn into right. the icy waters. Damn right. In this movie... He didn't think twice. Yeah, in this movie, the super heroine doesn't do that. She doesn't She doesn't get to be the martyr. We, we, gotta, we gotta let Steve do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I mean, uh, he's, he's right, though. Like, if, it's if true. They, if they switched spots, it's true. he would he, have been crushed and he would have ended the world. And, yeah. Although, although maybe, maybe not. Maybe if she takes the plane and... I guess they'd die, right? But yeah. then she could fight him afterwards. This, this is another another question. This isn't a criticism, but I was curious why she couldn't deal with the plane. It was it was interesting they didn't find a way for her to deal with it because they seemed to be priming earlier in the movie that she was impervious to this gas. Right, she's not affected by it. Right, so I thought that was going to come back into play, and it didn't. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like a fault with it or anything. Right. But uh, but yeah, it was it was kind of strange. No, I guess that it, that's that is an interesting point, and and I I do think that there was. I think the direction was strong, the storytelling was strong, so I'm not going to be too critical of it. Um, and I, I guess you are kind of bound to the source material in a little bit. Yeah. And I guess you are kind of bound to. This is not a one a one shot. This has got to fit inside of it. So, mm -hmm. You know, like she can't. I don't think she can. Have Tri Steve Trevor grow old and and be like you know, her or Agent Carter. I yeah. don't think they, they can get that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will say, as a final question, before I suggest something to you, I think the most powerful person we've seen in the in DC universe mm -hmm. is one woman. All around, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. She took out a literal god yeah, that's right, right. <laughs> like beat, beat his beat his ass right uh -huh. she obviously is more powerful than anything that the mankind can come up with mm -hmm. and if you watch the end of Batman vs Superman she goes toe to toe with Doomsday pretty handily and the way they shoot that movie I think if they hadn't gotten in her way she could have beaten him mm -hmm. like she cuts his hand off she she never is like affected by him yeah. she's like always getting up and going back for more mm -hmm. I think this movie confirms it this is the most powerful person on the planet yeah oh for sure I mean cause like even with Superman as they you know showcased again and again he may be super here on earth but under the right circumstances he's nobody that's right he's nothing special that's right it's only it's only circumstance that's made this man super yeah you know she I don't think it matters where she is I she she right. is all powerful <laughs> right 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 uh, so I'm going to suggest something mm -hmm. perhaps parties won't agree and mm -hmm. we should clear out and, and let what the missus have before No, oh, yeah do you have anything to, to add no. from a legitimate perspective but instead this this patriarchal yeah. perspective <laughs> no I Nothing. think she's, no, like, she's no, out no. I you know, look I think it's a I think it's an A movie maybe an A minus mm -hmm. it's the best DC movie they've done since Superman 2 I'm a huge fan of Superman 2 yeah. I think it's the best one since the early 80s like this For is sure. great
Yeah, it was nice. It was nice to finally see DC get one right. Yeah, and it was great that it was on this movie. That it was a, a, a Wonder Woman movie. I was, you know, I was legitimately panicked about this movie. The early reports of the film said it was a disaster. Um, I heard some bad things about. I thought the early trailers uh, didn't look good. I thought they looked kind of like hokey. Yeah, yeah. This this rejected all that. It was it was fun and good and there's consequences where there needed to be. There was memorable moments. It had a unique style to it. I'm excited to see more. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I, I know I know we're feeding into Justice League and Justice League Two, but I don't really care necessarily about Justice League. Mm -hmm. I want to see, I want to see the continuing adventures of this character, yeah. and yeah. Spoiler: Superman's dead, so <laughs> you know, the, your your leaders of the Justice League are going to be Batman and Wonder Woman. Yes, so you know, exactly. the Justice League appears to be in good hands mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason they're doing the death and return of Superman. For Lord knows why. Um, all that's to say that Zack Snyder, uh, who's kind of been driving the whole thing, has had a family tragedy and stepped down. Yep. Um, all for him and his family don't want to speak ill of the man in that context but there's room for new direction mm -hmm. uh, and I, clearly there is and I've heard Joss Whedon is not yeah, over I think so. yep. if you're going to bring in some of the team dynamics from Joss Whedon and maybe the kind of the appropriate level of hope that mm -hmm. this character this movie brought hey man I'm excited it, it no, brought sure. me from it brought me from I'll see these things in the dollar theater to I'll see these things open a week. 